Hi everyone, my name is Chan Xin Yao. And in this video, I'm going to talk about our group assignment on Android development subject. So our Android system title is called Vaccination Booking System. And we have a team member of four. So I'm Chan Xin Yao, and I'm responsible for the authorizations and authentication side, and also the backend side. Here is the list of modules that I have done. Next is um, Chai Zing. She is responsible for the customer side, and here is the list of modules she has done. Next is the Ong Yiping. He is responsible for the admin side, and here is a list of module. And then we got Day One Thing. He is responsible for the clinic side, and here is a list of module. Okay, that's all for the module listing. Let's talk about the starting data of our app first. So right now we got the admin account for this uh, admin role, and we also got the clinic account and also customer account. We also got some of the customer account for testing purpose and also some of the testing data for presentation purpose. Okay. Um, right now I want to present my module first. So our technology for backend is using the ASP.NET Core Web API. Currently we are running right now by, by running this command .NET was run to open the localhost uh, link. So uh, yeah, we have opened this and then here is the Android emulator. Uh, whenever the user click on the app, then you show this login page. Right now, I want to demonstrate the register account first. I will just click on this. Then uh, I have to key in all the field. So let me just key in. Okay, phone number. Then what are the address? And then what are the email? And then what are the password? Okay. So let me just click on register. Then you will say your account has been registered and remember to verify your email before login. So let's say if you didn't do the email verification and directly log in, then click on login, you will say your email will not be verified. So uh, let me demonstrate how to verify the email. Um, we are using the website called MewTrap. This MewTrap website is actually will simulate your email sending uh, situation. So right now, uh, here is listing the, 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 the user email that has been sent to that user. So right now, I just click on this. Then you will say your, your, your account has been created. Then you click on this link to verify your email. So you click on this link and then you click on the app you want to open. Okay, then you say your email has been verified and then go to login screen. Then you can uh, log in with that email. Yeah. So let me log in. Okay. Uh, here is the customer homepage for login after login. Then you can click on the logout to log, log back out. Okay. So let's talk about the focal password. Uh, I have to click on this focal password, then you key in your email to reset your password. So uh, let's say I want to send to this. So sending the link. Then your link, uh, I mean the link has been sent to your email. Then let's go back to the mail trap. Then you say, I mean, he will list uh, a list out on the inbox. Then uh, I will have to click on this link to reset a password and click on this and open. Then you have to uh, key in your new password. Okay, let me key in and click on reset password. Your password has been reset. Yeah. Uh, let's say if you want to reset the password again by using the same link, you can't do that. Uh, let me show you. Uh, let's say I want to click on this thing again. Then open the reset password. Okay, say uh, I want to reset. Then reset the password. Then he will say your token has been expired and then please request the link again. So we got this kind of validation to for security purpose. So you can reset the password twice on the same link. Uh, we also uh, got implement the edit profile. Let me just log in first. The edit profile is only available on the customer side. So uh, let me just click on this. And you can edit this field if you want to. So right now, I want to just edit this, edit the upload image. So let me just click on this and then get from storage media. Actually, this image upload is done by Yiping. So uh, later, he will present also. So uh, I will just click on this upload image, then he will apply and click on edit profile. Then your profile has been edited. So if you click on the navigation bar, you can see that the profile also edited in here. Yeah. And then we also got the change password here. 
the change password is easy you have to just type on the old password and then type on the new password to change your password yeah and your password has been changed so that's all for my module uh, let's talk about the only ping module so only ping is responsible for the admin side so right now i want to log in as an admin you might notice that we have three button in here right actually this three button now is uh, a is the same as this three account. If you click on the admin, then you will log in as this account and uh, log in to, to this account like that. Then uh, let's say I want to log into this account by using the admin's row. I'll just click on this, then he will automatically log in. This is easily for our debugging purpose. Uh, so right now, uh, he will log in to, to admin side, then he will show all the available clinic account listed in here. So uh, let's say I want to create another account. I, just hit, I will just click on the plus button then you have to key in the email or password and all that let me just click key in then the password for this account and then the address okay. so let's say I want to upload an image and get from image uh, this one and then uh, click on add clinic so yeah you will just edit this image in I mean add the clinic in here so let's say I want to edit the clinic, you can just click on this and you can change the address only. Uh, let me just change to Penang. So let's say I want to set the default. Then you set back to default and then click on edit and you go back to edit, edit the clinic. So you can search the email and address in here as well. So let me search Cheras and it will show Cheras and clinic, it will show the Penang site, the Penang clinic. Okay, then we also got the soft delete clinic account. Let's say I want to delete this beginning one. Uh, then we click on delete, then we will delete it. But actually this wasn't permanently deleted. This was a soft delete. Means that you can retrieve back uh, by clicking on the deleted clinic in here. Then here we list all the deleted clinic. Then uh, uh, click on this. You can press this undo delete to undo the delete. So that he will go back to the undeleted clinic. Yeah. So uh, that's all for the delete and undo delete. And we also got the customer account list. This one is to view the info of our customer only. So you will view all the information in here. Then you also can search in here. Okay. Then let's say if you want to click on the customer, then um, you will show all the customer info in here. Yeah. This one is for, for view only. Yeah. Then that's all for the only ping module. Next is the day one thing module. Day one thing is responsible for the clinic side. And uh, clinic side, uh, we have to log in this account. So let me just click on this button, automatically log in. Yeah. And then uh, uh, here, it will list out all the uh, vaccine available in this clinic. So right now we got the AJAC vaccine in here only. So let's say I want to add on more vaccine. I click on the plus, uh, plus button, then key in all the uh, name uh, and then the description uh, vaccine. And then uh, scenario, scene, then, then, and then the price and the dose. Okay, this dose oh, is like, uh, let's say if the vaccine have like those two, then we have to key in the days in order to have those two. So let me key in, let's say have a 10 days. Okay, then click on plus. So let's say I have those three, but in order to have those three, you have to pass on a 20 day first. Yeah, then I will key in 20. Okay. So the maximum amount of those interval can only have three so let me show you let's say i click on 30 then uh let's say i click on 40 then i click on plus you can't edit anymore so those interval only allow three count you can see the post message in here okay so uh yeah we got this kind of validation and let's say i want to just have two those i mean those three only lah, until okay. and deleted this and then yeah that's all then click on add vaccine then he will add the vaccine in here show it in here so let me just add on more vaccine for demonstrate uh, demonstrating purpose later. So Pfizer, okay, Pfizer vaccine, then 200. Then uh, you also got those three, three doses. Uh, yeah. So eight days, 16 days, and then add vaccine. So let me just add on more, one more. Uh, hepatitis B, okay. Hepatitis B vaccine, and 100 ringgit. And what are the dose? Uh, you can have optional dose means that only have one dose. You don't have to type also can. So let me just add vaccine. Then means that you only have first dose. Huh? Yeah. 
And then you also can edit the vaccine. Uh, let me just click on the Pfizer. Uh, so let me just edit the name also can uh, Pfizer Pro. Okay, come. Okay, Pfizer Pro vaccine, and also the the price say 150. Okay. Then for the dose interval, right, you cannot edit because it doesn't make any sense. If the customer have been booked this vaccine, then you suddenly need edit this dose interval, which kind which kind of doesn't make any sense. Uh. So that's why we don't allow it to be edited. So let me just click on edit, and then the vaccine will be edited. Then next is the delete vaccine. So let's say I click on Pfizer Pro, then I click on delete. Then you become deleted. So this one is permanently deleted. You can't book the vaccine anymore. Then you can search the vaccine by name also at A A Z Extra Delta. Yeah. Next is the view appointment list. Okay, view appointment list in here. You can click on this. Then he will view all the available appointment that the customer has been booked. So right now by default he will set on a local. I mean today's date. Which is that September 6. So let me just see, uh, set the, I mean, search the date. So we got a lot of data in the 16 September night now. I click, on, uh, I click on OK. Then he will show all the available customer that has been booked to this time and date. So actually, this is implemented using nested recycler view and it was grouped by the time uh, available. And then you can scroll through by vertical, vertically and also uh, horizontally. Yeah. And let's say if you click on this, this customer, then you show all the customer information on this booking info. Uh, like all the name, uh, email, uh, and all the description uh, that the customer want. And then the status, is he progressing or not? Then when, when is the vaccine, when is the first dose, all that. Okay. So uh, one thing also implement the print PDF. So let me just click on print PDF. Then he will screenshot the page. Then uh, you can download the page by clicking on this and then click on download. Then he will download the page in this Android device. So yeah, that's for the print PDF. And yeah, that's all for the day one thing side. Okay. So lock out. <clears throat> uh, right now I want to present the charging module. Charging was responsible for the customer. Uh, I want to log in as Jenny. Uh, we can't click on the customer because this one was logged in as the Chan Xinyao email one. So we have to manually type like uh, gmail.com and password. Login. So right now we got two uh, two clinic to book. So let's say if you click on the clinic gmail.com which we have created just now. So we click on this. Then you will say there are no vaccine in this clinic yet. Means that uh, because there is no vaccine in this clinic. So that's you cannot put anything in here. So yeah, we got this kind of validation in here. So you cannot book in this clinic. So let's say I book in this uh, Churras clinic. Lah. So I click on this, then he will show all the uh, clinic information in here. Then the date that you want to book, the time you want to book, and also what are the vaccine you want to uh, inject. Yeah. And let's say I click on the date. This one is show, showing the 30 days from now on. It means that you can only book from 30 days from right now, from now. Yeah. So let's say I want to book in uh, 16 September. And then the operation time. These are the available operation time for this clinic. So uh, I will just click on 11, uh, 11 time. And then uh, vaccine. Vaccine, I will just click on the Sinovac. Sinovac, okay. So you might see this uh, blue blue text, right? This one is actually review all the information that the vaccine you have selected. So yeah, like how many dose, yeah, how many price, how much price, uh, what are the description for this vaccine? Okay. And then uh, description is optional. You can don't write also can. Uh, so I will just don't write like just book up book up on and then uh yeah let's say I want to book another one in the Cheras so say I book on the uh, 17 September and then the time also 11 and then the 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 vaccine will become hepatitis B I will select the hepatitis then uh the, then I will just get on the book appointment to book the appointment um next is the booking list this one is means that the appointment that you have booked you listed in here in here yeah so you can search by the name in here hepatitis b or oh, that so we got three status progressing cancer and completed yeah right now it's progressing uh, which hasn't cancer and completed now. and uh let's say i want to proceed the appointment so let me click on the sinovac vaccine okay you can see that here is the list of the info about the appointment you can see because the Sinovac vaccine require three dose that's why we got three third 
uh, third dose appointment, second dose appointment. So uh, actually all of, all of this is implemented by one thing except the QR code and the cancel appointment. This one was implemented by Zing. Okay. Then uh, um, let's say I want to proceed the appointment. Uh, if we reach the reach the clinic and also reach the time here. So I will just click on this QR code. You have to scan the QR code in here. Then uh, yeah, in here. So let's say I click on the here. I want to display the QR code in in the in the in this emulator. So let's say I put on the embedded QR code first. Uh. Okay. And then I I click on the virtual sensor. I have to adjust the place first. Okay. Then I have to um go to the X, uh, the QR code, yeah. Then you can see that, yeah, you will say invalid QR code because this one was not valid one. So let me just try again. And yeah, you also will say invalid. So let me change the, the QR code first to become the valid one. And then uh, click on this. Then you will show the valid one. So let me just click on try again. Okay, let me just scan properly. Yeah, he will, he will scan the QR code, then he will say your QR code has been scanned. Yeah. So you can see that the first dose becomes second dose. You might see the, the, the first dose completed is right now, 6 September. Then he will add on the first dose interval to become 16. You can see on the Sinovac, you can see that the, the second dose requires 10 days interval. So he will add on 10 days to become 16. Yeah. So uh, let's say you want to proceed again when you reach this type date time. So let me just scan again. Okay, okay. he automatically sent uh, automatically scan because you are standing on, on the QR code. So yeah, you can see that the appointment is uh, proceeded. Then you will add on 20 days because the, the third dose required 20 days. That's why you uh, add on 30, uh, 20 days, then it becomes 26 September. So let me just progre uh, progress, proceed again. Then let's scan again. Then you will become QR code scan. Yeah. So uh, you will become fully vaccinated. Okay. Uh, then the status will become completed. That's all for the QR code scanning. And then uh, this one is completed. And then let's demonstrate the cancel appointment as well. Um, so let's say I want to cancel this appointment. You click on the cancel. And then you click on yes. And the appointment will be canceled. The status will also list out the cancel as well. So yeah, it will list out in here also. So uh, okay, that is all. And yeah, that is all for our Android development uh, system. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.